Hello, today I'm with uh, Thomas and we're gonna show you the lap from the Roller Marathon in Dijon. So now we are uh, near the roundabout, the first roundabout of the race. And uh, Thomas, can you tell uh, something about uh, this track? Uh, yes, we are at the end of the first uh, roundabout and just before the, the little downhill. So this part is uh, just the just after the roundabout we go uh, for the little downhill so it's quite important uh, to take a lot of speed there so you can uh, sometimes make breakaway or make sure you're in, in the good group because uh, it's going really it's one of the moments you go at the fastest uh, speed uh, during the lap this is the place of the one of the giant screen to show the race with the direct light Okay, so now I'm in the second uh, roundabout. So we arrive here with uh, quite a lot of speed uh, normally, just after the little downhill. It's a very big roundabout, so it's uh, quite difficult because you have to choose between I cross or I don't cross. So you have to be uh, always aware in the pack uh, from the move of the other skater. So now, Thomas, we are in the finish line. It's going a little bit uphill. Yes, it's uh, the famous uh, finish line of Dijon. You need to, to be at the top of the pack to, to have the, the chance to win the race. Uh, it's, uh, still, it's quite a long straight line. Uh, most of the time you have a, an attack like uh, in the last kilometer. And uh, it's quite nice because it looks a little bit like uh, the last stage of uh, Tour de France when you have the roundabout and the straight line just after. So it's very similar finish as a uh, Tour de France uh, for the last day. In the finish line there is a uh, two different uh, asphalt. And uh, so on the right of the road it's quite uh, difficult. There's little holes. So it's more difficult to sprint. Uh, only I think uh, Scott Alridge he won last, like this, sprinting on the right uh, side of the road. And but uh, most of the time uh, the sprint is little more on the left because the asphalt is faster. So we have the finish line uh, right behind us. So still, uh, it's quite a long straight line. I didn't remember it was so long. Uh, that's a very very long straight line. It's very difficult to lead the sprints from far. So you need a good team to lead the sprint for the leader and be able to put him at the right place uh, for the finish. Uh, actually, I never won uh, this marathon. I think my best place was uh, second, second. second place. Yeah. And uh, who was uh, the winner last year? Uh, it went Fernandez win for the boys and uh, Katarina Humpus 
with the girls. Yeah, Katarina, she uh, she's the leader of the Pro Roller Tour ranking, so she's the one uh, who won uh, most of the marathons uh, in the world. And uh, Ewen uh, is already uh, already in shape, actually. He won last weekend in uh, Half Berlin, so maybe he can uh, win the second year in a row in uh, Dijon again. Directly in the front of the finish line, this is the famous place of the Allée du Parc in Dijon with the village and uh, the second giant screen uh, with tribunes. Lots of people see the race and uh, up uploads the, the skaters. Okay, you know how many uh, spectators are uh, coming to Dijon? Two, 20,000 people in, uh, okay. in Dijon. And uh, how many skaters last year was uh, racing? 1,000. 1,000 skaters with 20, approximately 20 uh, nationality, different nationality. Yeah, so the Dijon Marathon is very famous, but uh, so it's famous for skating. But Dijon is also a nice city. There is good wine, good food, and some cool place uh, to see in the in the downtown. So when you come for this marathon, it's a nice uh, opportunity to to go uh, in the city uh, the evening before after the race and have a good uh, dinner visit few places. So now maybe uh, Thomas, uh, we can go there and uh, try to show me the nice spot to see in uh, Dijon. Let's go! This is the hall of Dijon. You can make a wish. If you touch it, the 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 wish is real. Dijon. <laughs> I wish to win the roller marathon in Dijon. For the house of Dijon. Uh, for example, there is a famous movie, Cyrano de Bergerac, with uh, Gérard Depardieu, who is uh, turn in uh, in this street. Okay, cool, that's nice. I'm lucky I don't have to do a movie like this because <laughs> I'm acting very bad. <laughs> C'est ce soir ou jamais, prépare ta mémoire. Le moment est venu de te couvrir de gloire. Quoi, qu'est-ce que tu as encore Les mots que tu vas dire, il va falloir parler. Quoi Oui, elle désire te voir enfin de près. Ne perdons pas de temps. Tiens, voilà le début, assieds-toi et apprends. Non. Apprends ta leçon Non, je n'apprendrai rien. Je suis là d'emprunter ces mots qui sont les tiens. Maintenant, je le sais. Oui, je sens qu'elle m'aime. Merci, je n'ai plus peur, je vais parler moi-même. Ah oui Et qui te dit que je ne saurais pas Je ne suis pas si bête à la fin, tu verras. Oui, mon cher, ton exemple a été confitable. Je saurais parler seul. Et de par tous les diables, je saurais bien toujours la prendre dans mes bras. Parlez tout seul, monsieur. Attends, ne t'en vas pas. Je peux le faire moi-même. 
je sens que je suis prêt. Mais non, malheureux, elle va s'en rendre compte. Mais non, c'est le moment, c'est le moment. Je sens que c'est le Il moment. Est... Il est n'importe quoi. Je le sens pourtant. J'ai le nez, je suis prêt. Thank you.